I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. The president of Nigeria just flew out of the country to France on a private visit. And uh, there's crisis in the plateau. Churches are being burnt. People are being killed. It doesn't concern him. He has a right to fly. But if we are sensitive to the value of the Nigerian life, I think that this is not a time to go for such trips. The next thing I want to say, do Nigerian lives really matter, particularly the northern lives? Gowan is a former head of state, and I don't know if he's from Plateau State. He has been busy going around Nigeria, praying for Nigeria. The time has come that he needs to speak for Nigeria. All the killings in the north, Gowon has not said anything reasonable. There are very other prominent northern elites. They won't say anything concerning the killings of northerners. When it started with Christians, they all kept quiet. And somebody like El Rufai said that if any Fulani man is killed, it's a death that the person, the person owes the Fulanis. But when it comes to politics, they will say they are Arewa, that they are all Northerners. But when it comes to killing Christians, they are no longer Arewa, they are North, they are South, they are Christians, and they are, and they are Muslims. Before now, you will hear the average Northerner say, average Northern elite, we, we will go to war. We will go to war. War has come to your doorstep. What war? What have you done to stop the killing of your and the kidnapping of your people? The northern elite in particular is very, very insincere to his people. I'll give you another example. The senators from the north are protesting about carrying parts of Central Bank and whatever to Lagos. Have they come out to go to the president and protest about the killings in the north. Something is very wrong with we leaders in this country. We are extremely very selfish, but you, the followers, are extremely very foolish. You suffer from Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome is when the kidnapped victim is in love and defends the kidnapper. Have sense and let's change this country. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. God bless you.